Right. Just one second. All right. So spawning at the bottom right side of the map, King Sagan Station. Is the red turn player Astartes, who I think he missed click and he pulled all his SMEs inside his command center and wasted some mining time. And his opponent, Masters player, has a blue Protoss, his Hyun A. Alright. Alright, so there's one pylon going down right now by Hyun. Pretty standard game, still no gas by anyone. Just one minute into the game. So it's going to be by a start, it's going to be a gas first opening. Gas before racks. He's sending one SCV to scout right now. Here comes the first gate by Hyun. And his probe is leaving his base, he's going to be making another scout as well. Still no command center right now, but I started. He's sending now his SCV to start building it. Uh, this probe uh, almost crashed against this SCV. This SCV is going to get a very good scout. The one assimilator already is going down right now by Hyun. And as well, uh, there is not going to be a wall finish right now. I started, so that probe will be able to enter the the base and scout and scout everything. Another pylon goes down. This SCV just making a very good scout. This probe tr trying to chase him away. So he's absolutely everything. As same as this probe. This probe sees the gas. He knows now how many how much gas has been mined right now. I, he's just going to leave. There's no point in staying there. Going to be attacking that SCV and will not be able to beat that SCV so this SCV is going to be building probably the second supply depot no he's not going to build it the barracks is done the probe now thinks he should run and there goes the factory as well as the reactor for the um, barracks so we might see some Hellions going out as well as the orbital command has been researched right now by Astartes the Pros player is building his cybernetic score and he's still on one gas but he will be building his Natural Nexus right now. He's just getting oh something happened. Something happened to the stream. Sorry. Right here goes the Nexus. The natural Nexus for Hyun. Um sorry, something's happening to the stream. Is something just my screen? changes from the game to my desktop for some reason i'm sorry about that so more ship core is on the way as well as one stalker warp gate is not being researched at the moment and second simulator goes down right now by Hyun. he has one probe um, building one pylon so he's going to be making a ninja we might see a twilight council or perhaps a stargate we will see in a moment for Right now the factory is already on those reactors and two Hellions are being researched right now and Starport is being built at the moment as well. And the barracks is not building any unit at this moment. One more supply depot was built by a Stardust. One Stalker is being built and here comes the Twilight Council. So we might see some DTs. It's a possibility that we can see some DTs right now. But uh, this time these two Hellions are going to be doing some harassment to the mineral line but there's already these stalkers these two stalkers that will be more than enough to block the entrance of these hellions those hellions have to run away they will not be able to do absolutely nothing against his opponent's base two more hellions were popping out from the factory as well and starport is making one uh, medivac so we are going to see some hellion drops these hellions going to do some scouting and they see absolutely everything they see the twilight council they see the Dark Shrine and they got cancelled after he got scouted but instead of that he's building one, uh, his forge is done so this Twilight Council was scouted exactly at the same time that the Dark Shrine was being built 
So here comes one uh, medivac with three Hellions that is going to be do doing some harassment from this from the left side of the map. The Morship Core just waiting for any Terran unit to enter from this side of the base so he can use a uh, photon overcharge but he's not going to find anything at this moment. This pylon is going to go down right now by those two Hellions. Uh, Tech Lab is almost finished right now by the starboard of Astartes as well. He's commencing his build of his natural CC. Here comes the drop of the Hellions. They're going to be attacking directly to those probes. There's already one cannon protecting uh, those probes. Those probes run away onto the wrong direction. Those Hellions will be able to destroy some of those drones. But I don't think that is what's going to be uh, that cut effective. Those Hellions are destroyed. For an overcharge, uh, had to be made. And only seven probes were were destroyed without without with that attack I'm sorry ah what's happening with my English so the dark shrine was actually built at the natural base but was also scouted by a Stardis with that um, Hellion attack he actually saw it and there's already one proxy pylon outside the base of the third base of a Stardis and two DTs are warped in there's already one raven on the map that will spot all those DTs, the all DTs will not do absolutely anything and they fall very very fast, they didn't manage to do even one hit to those Hellions and they will now look for this pylon, the pylon is found and will go down the orbital command else goes down for the natural base of Astartes he is building matches with cloaking uh, right now two more assimilators go down right now for Hyun, he has already three gates one cannon protecting each of the bases um, all the Hellions are... there's going to be another Hellion drop and there is this uh, Raven protecting the base for any DTs uh, Cloaking is about to... oh well, no, like 60% finished is researching, there's already one Banshee on the way but that Banshee will not be able to do anything because there is one cannon right here so it's not going to do any harassment Warship core between the two bases in case he needs to apply another photon overcharge. Uh, here comes the next drop. Well, there are already two cannons protecting those mineral lines, so it is not going to be that effective either. They will be scout the robotic complex. Here goes the photon overcharge. Those cannons will try to run. There are some cannons, a lot of stalkers right here. Those cannons are going to be completely destroyed. I, I think they didn't manage to destroy absolutely anything. So that drop from Astartes was an absolute disaster. He lost all four Hellions. He didn't manage to destroy absolutely anything. He destroyed one probe. Uh, one probe. So he destroyed 15 minerals against 400. That was very bad attack. The third command center is being done right now by Astartes. Supply 78 against 72 right now. More Hellions go down there. Already three factories on Astartes, side, Astartes base. He's building one tank, one more raven is on the way. He has right now one raven and one banshee. The third CC is building some SCVs, he's building a second starport. At this moment, one observer is going to be popping out from this uh, robotics complex. He is now, the first player is now going for a robotics center. We are going to see some colossus. He's researching right now plus two, uh, I'm not sure if it's plus two or plus one, plus two defense. It's being, it's being researched right now by Hyun A. More Hellions and some tanks keep um, are on the production tab for Astartes. And Colossus range attack is being researched as well. The third Nexus is going down right now at this moment by Hyun. Uh, this Hellion spots it. There are no Terran units right now, there are two hallucinating phoenixes going to be scouting, well one hallucinating phoenix and one observer. There are no missile turrets to destroy that observer, but we have ravens, but there are just very few marines that can destroy it. So the ravens, I'm not sure if they spot everything, um, no they have not spotted this observer. So the observer is going on to the mineral line, but here comes all the hellions. And those ravens... Where is... Okay. 
There it goes down. Finally, that observer third command center is already done. There is one proxy pylon that on the left side of the map, and well, we cannot see it. Here is the probe might be building another proxy pylon. At the same time, uh, four more gateways are on the way uh, for Hyun A. His third nexus is just done, building one more cannon to defend that nexus. Uh, four gates and one more assimilator being built right now. He is building more close sites, plus one attack and defense for mech units are being researched right now by Stardust. He's building some Vikings and four more Hellions. I'm not sure if that is going to be a very cost effective one. DT is warp in on the left side of the map, going to be doing some harassment to the third base. But there are already too many turn units very near of that base, so he might be able to get one, two, maybe three SCVs. Now he comes to attack the SCV that is building the missile turret. Two SCVs die, three, four, five SCVs getting killed, six SCVs, seven SCVs, and eight SCVs were killed by one DT. That DT was has already paid for himself. Now, uh, charge is being researched right now by the Protoss player, Hyun A, the master player. Mm. There are already three Colossus on the map. Uh, another hallucinated Phoenix is flying away, going to make a scout. Here are all the tanks and Hellions. I'm not sure if that is going to be enough against all those Stalkers. Uh, the hallucinated Phoenix goes down right now. Charge is almost done. This uh, pylon has not been spotted. The missile turret is finished at the third, but there is no protection. But there is already one uh, ghost academy being done right now. Blue flame is being researched as well. Two more banshees and two more factories are on the production tab for the Terran player. And some high templars are being built uh, right now by Hyun A. Storm has not been researched yet. And uh, will not be researched. Those high templars are are changing on to Archons. Charge is about to finish, plus one attack for ground units is being researched by Hyun A as well as Blink. So right now, there's go one scan this hell and see everything. They might destroy those um, probes. There's excellent force field destroying all those Hellions. Those Hellions were destroyed absolutely fast. That was great force field trapping all those Salians and getting completely destroyed by those Colossi. The Fort Nexus is going down right now as well as the Fort CC goes down for our starters. Supply 163 against 165. Uh, very, very uh, even game at this point. There has not been that much of harassment by either player. Uh, but it has been one good game until now. Army supply 95 against 92. So, uh, worker supply 73 even so it's almost a perfect match until now by units but Hyun is supply block at this moment he's building three more pylons blink is almost finished his fort nexus will finish uh, very very soon as well as the fort cc of astartes so now the turn army is going to be moving out one pylon at the middle of the map when hallucinated phoenix is seeing absolutely everything uh two orbital commands are being built right now there's already one fifth uh, command center one fifth and sixth command center being built right now the turn army destroyed these drugs to prevent any protoss army from moving out and here comes the attack there goes the scan the scans get on the exact same place it has to be and he knows exactly where is the protoss army those tanks and Hellions will try to do their best. This Charlot will try to do some damage. The tank gets sieged, but the Protoss army is not getting uh, near those tanks at this moment. So, a lot of Ravens are on the composition of Astartes. And uh, with some good uh, Seeker missiles, they will be able to do a lot of damage. More scans are getting down supply 199 against 188 one more raven is going to pop out plus two attack and defense for make unit is being researched and here comes all the tanks are on a very good concave those vikings trying to destroy those colossi and those telling doing some kind of a job those uh, ravens 
are not doing anything, just getting killed at this moment. They release some PDDs, avoiding those stalkers attack. Those banshees get plugged in, and all the Protoss army got destroyed. But these banshees are going to fall against all those uh, cannons. So those ravens try to make some uh, automatic turrets. Ward salads are warped in those, but there are already a lot of tanks on siege mode. Supply 151 against 117. More ravens on four tanks, four hellions, uh, three hellions and four hellions. Hell that's being researched at the same time. They're being produced. This will, this nexus will fall very fast. There's nothing protecting it except for one cannon. That was a very good engagement by Astartes. He managed to kill almost all Pearl's army. Uh, but right now he has, there are just some stalkers and some sellouts on the composition as well as two more um, Archons uh, getting built right now. Those Banshees getting attacked by those stalkers, this base will fall. And uh, there's not much that the Protoss army can do at this moment with those tanks and those Hellbats and Hellions. The fourth base of Astartes is up and running. He's not mining very properly. He could actually send some. Okay, here comes some SCVs to that base. And now the Protoss army is going to be attacking on by the right side of the map. These PDDs will spot everything. Those Stalkers will try to destroy them, but those PDDs will avoid most of the attacks. They are, are getting finally destroyed, but here comes the Terran army onto the left side. The tanks get sieged. And here comes the stalkers, they blink away against all those tank attacks. So the Terran army keeps moving out. Here are some setups getting... Oh, some setups and high tempers, but there is no... There is actually no, uh, no storm, so those... Without getting turned into Archons, they will be useless. But here comes the Protoss army, those Archons going to be very effective. But not that effective against that many tanks and banshees, those banshees, and with those PD, they're just stopping all the Protoss attacks by 157 against 117. One Raven almost fall as well, and all the tanks are doing an excellent job, and plus 3, plus 3 um, attack and defense for Mech Army is being researched right now, as well as plus 3 attack for the, for the units of Hyuna is also being researched, but it's not going to be the same. Supplies 40 more supply for the Terran player than the, the Protoss player. Two more command centers are going to be built at this base. He's going to be building. Um, this is his fifth mining base with four more command centers just for scans. So there is the scan on this base. This base will fall. The tank gets sieged. Those banshees are going to be destroying the simulators. They, uh, they are going to proceed to attack. Those uh, high templars do absolutely nothing. They get destroyed by those ghosts. A lot of setups are warped team, but with all that many tanks, you will not be able to do absolutely anything. All those people are doing a great job. Those ravens actually not doing very much. Uh, there is no nothing else to do. And the first players, GG. Astartes, the platinum player, managed to defeat Hyun. He's a master player. Congratulations to him. And thank you guys for watching.